So what I've also done, and you will have seen at the start of the video, I've made a little intro. I'm quite proud of myself. Hello, welcome back to Chief on the Bike. Today I'm on the B723 which takes me up, well, I'm hoping, because I've never been on it before, it takes me up to... Where does it take me to now? Uh, Borland, Estill Muir, and uh, up to Selkirk. And it looks like I turn left here, so that's good. Oh! Okay, well, it's a voyage of discovery because I've never been here before. And it looks like we're going to be taking it very easy because there ain't much room. It's a lovely piece of countryside. Estill Muir, there's a, it's apparently <laughs> I don't think there's much competition nowadays, but apparently it's one of the wettest places in Scotland. But surely not in a beautiful day like this, eh? It's absolutely gorgeous again today. Oh, where are we going now? We're going to the right. We should really look at that. A blooming big holes in the road there. First gear would be nice, Ron. Right. It seems to have taken us onto a bigger road. That's a shame. I was quite liking that little road. BMW sat nav is a peculiar thing. It takes you some very weird routes. It tried to take me down a, a little cycle lane the other day, so it's not really to be trusted. It also lags behind, so you're at least a junction behind most of the time, which means you miss it if you're like me and not paying attention to it. Isn't this lovely piece of countryside? going to talk about today. This is gorgeous. Difficult to concentrate in speaking in, of countryside like this. I found a new YouTube channel to watch. There's a young fella now, it, it's called Shugley Garage or something like that. I'll put the link down below. He's a young lad who builds motorbikes, or rebuilds motorbikes in his shed. Scottish fella. And, <laughs> and the reason I like it so much is he reminds me so much of me when I was that age. Getting your hands dirty. And uh, messing about with engines and bikes in your garage. And uh, <laughs> it really was quite a blast from the past. Uh, for me because that's the kind of thing I used to do. He seems quite an knowledgeable young lad and uh, he's well worth a well worth a look I would say. Um, so yeah, that was a new one I discovered. I, I tend to watch quite a lot of YouTube to, I don't know, somewhat, it's not really so much to get ideas. What on earth have we got here? 
What is this? Is that a horse? A fucking horse. Oh, I'll better watch it then. Don't spook the horses! Um, what was it to say? And, oh yeah, uh, so I watch quite a lot of YouTube videos because, well, why not? Um, it's a lot better than some of the rubbish that's on the telly. And uh, there's a lot of channels I've mentioned before that I quite enjoy, but as I say, Shugley Garage or something like that is, uh, is a new one to me. So there's quite a lot of channels I enjoy, um, and I'm looking forward to watching some of his back catalogue. And I fell upon a... it came up in my feed. I wish it wouldn't, but... Uh, Stuart Fillingham has popped up in my feed again. What a monumental prick that man is. I'm not here to criticise people. <laughs> But I'll make an exception in his case. What a total fanny. I don't know how, why people would watch something like that. The one I, I, I kind of fell across is uh, just the other day. Is, uh, it was entitled something like, All Reviewers Get It Wrong. Motorcycle Reviewers, that is. All except him, apparently. Uh, and then proceeds to tell you that... Everything everybody else is, says is wrong, everything he says is right, and uh, then proceeds to tell us that Royal Enfield, where are we going, oh, Royal Enfield sent him a motorcycle to review and he didn't even bother his arse riding it, had it for about a month and never really rode it, couldn't be bothered to do a review on it, what a prick, cannot stand the man. Anyway, everybody else is, uh, <laughs> that I watch is, is good and I try and avoid him as much as possible. is this all about? Look at this, man. A little bit windy, but boy, is it lovely. Cyclist going downhill with a smile on his face. Avoid the dead something. Oh, this is lovely. Why have I not been up here before? So the reason I'm coming up here is because um, somebody commented on a video that I did. I think it was the one that I went from Moffat towards Selkirk. Uh, and somebody commented saying this would be his preferred route. I can't remember who he is. Um, and I can see why. Thanks very much for the recommendation. Is this going to be loose tippings? Yeah, bugger. This is rather nice. I hope the loose tippings don't go on. Excuse me, I hope the loose tippings don't go on forever. So I did a little review of my kit, uh, that video should be up by the time that you see this one, 
Um, it wasn't really a review, it was just a kind of show you what I've got and a couple of the problems I've got with it. And I also put up a little video about how to uh, adjust the gain on the wireless DJI microphone. Uh, the reason I put that up, <laughs> pretending to be an expert, the reason I put that up is because I could not figure it out. It took ages and eventually, I mean there was no YouTube videos that I could see on it. Um, and eventually I found a solution on Reddit, believe it or not. God, this is lots of wee stones. So I thought, uh, because I had so much trouble finding how to do it, I thought I'll just uh, do a quick video of it and pretend to be an expert. So I hope it's of use to some people. Looks like we've got the end of loot. Nah, they just stopped for the bridge. Oh, I hate loose chippings. So the little kit video um, lets you see what, what I use, what settings I use. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert, but in fact I'm far from an expert. I'm a rank amateur, but it lets you see what I use and if some of the views suit you then fine and if it helps anybody at all then, then fantastic. My biggest bugbear is with the, the little remote start thing. As I said in that video, um, it costs 59 quid and that's way too expensive for its effectiveness. That's a shame it's so windy. This would have been beautiful to stick your drone up. But we're getting blown about like anything here. So what I've also done, and you will have seen at the start of the video, I've made a little intro. I'm quite proud of myself. I, uh, <laughs> it was Ben, my son, that decided that he had seen other videos and they've got an intro and he says, we should make one of them. So I thought, that's fine. You research how to do it, son. We'll do it together. So to be fair to him, we went and did the research found a couple of websites that kind of help you along with these things. Some of them paid, in fact most of them paid, um, but my son is, his mother's son if you like, uh, he's not keen on paying for anything so he managed to find a couple that were free and it allows you to edit them and put in your own pictures and that kind of thing. So we found that and then he decided we need a logo. So we made a logo, or he kind of drew out a rough logo of what he wanted. Then we found something online that we could, we could adapt and uh, alter to suit ourselves. So it made a logo as well. So I hope you like it. It's mostly Ben's idea and I'm quite pleased with it, I'll be honest. But um, I'm, the reason I'm more pleased with it is because it was mostly my son that did it. He's taken to become a, a bit of a critic <laughs> when it comes to the videos and tells me what, what he wants to put in and what I shouldn't have put in and things like that. It's, it's quite funny. But this whole YouTube thing was his idea to start with and uh, so it's only right that he's got quite a lot of input to it. So I've done the intro thing, uh, which I've saved and I'll, I've saved in a couple of places so that I don't lose it. And he also looked at some uh, videos that have a, a, what would you call it, a catchphrase perhaps at the end. I mean if you're the, you're Bingley Wheeler, he's got Al Sither, 
uh, at the end. And so Ben decided that he uh, we should have one of them as well. So he couldn't really figure out what he wanted. So we decided just to say um, bye for now, but we're going to do it in Gaelic. So I'm going to put it on the screen, how it looks in Gaelic, and then I'll uh, talk you through how to pronounce it. So goodbye in Gaelic is Martian leave, and that's the first line, and then for now, it's not. There's not really a direct translation for now. There is for right now. Uh, would be the the closest that you could get in Gaelic, uh, and that is uh, Andrasta. So you'll see there's an accent above the A. That means that you draw out the A. So you don't say Drasta. You say Drasta. Kind of. Um, it's difficult. To, ooh, where are we going here? Ah, shite, I don't know where I'm going. I'll go this way first and for now. A little lending library thing there, right? Where are we going? Where does this take us to? Langholm, Lockerbie. Ah, ah, shite, I should have gone the other way. Oh, you think? Hmm. We lost. Oh well, not to worry. This is nice. That truck there looks like a bit like a Terminator truck, doesn't it? This is gorgeous. We'll just carry on this way, even if it's the wrong way. So yeah, so Marshall leave and Rasta. Uh, will be my close-out phrase, which basically means goodbye for now. So there, you've learnt a little bit of Gaelic. Whee! So I put the drone up there, unfortunately I got the high wind warning so I had to bring it back down so I didn't get very much footage at all, that's a shame because it was it was lovely. The little bit that I'll put up, or I probably will have put up there, does look nice but um, it's just a shame there's not more of it. So we'll carry on our little ride, continuing, we're on the B709 now. Never ever been up here in my life, but I'll not, I will be back. I can assure you. Stunningly beautiful. Chippings. This is a little bit depressing. Look at that, hey! Just go fishing in there. Get a little brown trout or something. Sharp corner, loose chippings, not a good combination, and a flipping lorry. Awesome. Mm. 
caught up in a, a group of four bikes out for a little spin. But like me on this surface, I'm going to be going nice and slowly. Oh, I wish you wouldn't do this. All it does is put a coating on the road, it doesn't do anything about potholes or the smoothness of the road. It's just a cheap way of saying we've done something. And another wood lorry, cheesy peeps. I'll just wait for him to come down. <laughs> He's a lot bigger than me, I'll give him room. <laughs> Seem to have joined up with them. We'll just tag along, we're not in any hurry, I don't know the road and we'll enjoy the scenery. A lot of timber extraction going on here, as you can see by the two wood lorries that we've seen so far. Ah, more loose chippings. Don't know where these bikes are from. The foreign looking number plates. Oh wow, look at that. View over there to the wind farms. Nearly run out the back of these guys, they slowed right down for that corner, I wasn't quite ready for it. One of the bikes is burning oil and getting the fumes. Back on the road, mate. He's too busy admiring the scenery, I think. <laughs> So we're on the B709, I don't know if that's the same road as I was mentioned before. You can look it up on a map. Well worth a trip, another little hidden gem. If I can find a place where it's not quite so windy, I'll see if I can get the drone up again at a nice spot. But. Um, Unfortunately the drone doesn't like it when it's too windy and it gives me a row and 
then tries to fly back to the home point. So, uh, and I don't want to lose it. I've got a thing called care and assist or something. It's a DGI thing. It's a terrific thing. It costs you, I think, about 60 quid for a year. And what happens is if you do lose your drone for pretty much whatever reason, it doesn't matter what it is. Bent path. All right. Um, aye, if you lose your drone for any, for any reason, if it flies off, if you lose it, if you crash it and can't find it, something like that. Um, then you get a new one. You have to pay a fee, I think it's about 100 quid. But uh, you get a brand spanking new drone. So it's a great thing for peace of mind if you're an amateur at flying a drone like I am. I mean, my drone, it's not new, it's a... Oh God, what's it called? A Mini 3, that's what it is. And... But I mean, they're still sort of five or six hundred pounds. That's a lovely church. I might go down and take some footage down there. If I can find a way down, this will be it. Obviously a village hall there. This is nice. I'll go over this bridge to the church and I'll walk back and take some footage up and down the river, I think. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this. I'll just stop at the church. Somewhere? Yeah, there we go. Just stop in here. Isn't this stunning? It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> 